Hello and welcome to It's Tomorrow News and this is Hina Telati. The month of March is the beginning of the sweltering summers in the Indian subcontinent. As the continent reels under the brunt of the intense heat, the summer monsoon acts as a severe to the people of this continent. The summer monsoon is associated with the heavy rainfall. It usually happens between April and September. As winter ends, warm, moist air from the southwest Indian Ocean blows towards the countries like India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and Myanmar. The summer monsoon brings humid climate and torrential rainfall to these areas. The India and Southeast Asia depend on the summer monsoon and agriculture for example relies on the yearly rain. Many areas in these countries do not have large irrigation systems surrounding lakes, rivers or snow melt areas. Aquifers or supplies of the underground water are shallow. The summer monsoon fills wells and aquifers for the rest of the year. Rice and tea are some crops that rely on the summer monsoon. A great deal of electricity in the region is produced by the hydroelectric power plants which are driven by the water collected during the monsoons. Electricity powers hospitals, schools and businesses that help the economies of these areas develop during monsoon. When the summer monsoon is late or weak, the region's economy suffers. Fewer people can grow their own food and large agribusiness do not produce to sell. Governments must import food. Electricity becomes more expensive, sometimes limiting development to large businesses and wealthy individuals. The summer monsoon has been called India's true finance minister. A monsoon is not a storm like hurricane or a summer thunderstorm, but much larger pattern of the winds and rain that spans a large geographic area, a continent or even the entire globe. With the world's strongest monsoons, their region stretches from the South China Sea into the Indian Ocean and includes Asia and northern end of the Australia. From June until September, summer monsoon rains occur in South Asia countries such as Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, Bangladesh, Laos, India and Pakistan. From December until February, the monsoon rains move south of the equator towards Australia while South Asia experiences dry monsoon conditions. There is even an East Asian monsoon that brings summer rain to China, Japan and Korea but it is caused by the different types of the wind pattern associated with the jet stream. Indian monsoon, the most prominent of the world's monsoon systems which is primarily affects India and its surrounding water bodies, it blows from the northeast during the cooler months and reverses direction to blow from the southwest during the warmest months of the year. This process brings large amounts of the rainfall to the region during the June and July. India lies in the region of the northeasterly surface winds. During winters, the subtropical high pressure belt of the northern hemisphere leads to the origin of the northeastern winds. The winds blow in the southern direction and get deflected to the right. In winter, high pressure areas develop over the north of Himalayas. Hence, cold, dry winds blow from the Himalayas towards the low pressure areas over the oceans in the south. However, in summers, a low pressure area develops over the northeastern India. Therefore, the wind reduction is reversed. Now, the winds move from the high pressure area over the Indian Ocean to cross the equator and then turn right to reach the low pressure areas. Since these winds move over the warm ocean, they carry a large amount of moisture leading to the widespread rainfall. Monsoon winds strongly influence the climate of India. When the land is heated and the water bodies get cooled, it creates low pressure on the ground and high pressure over the sea and vice versa. There is a shift in the position of the intertropical convergence zone over the Gangar plains in summer. It is known as monsoon trough. The high pressure area towards the east of Madagascar also affects monsoon. 
the excessive heating of the Tibetan plateau during the summer results in strong air currents which are vertical in direction. The movement of the westerly jet stream of the north of the Himalayas and that of the easterly jet streams over Indian peninsula also affects monsoon. By the first week of the June, the monsoon arrives at the southern tip of the Indian peninsula. Here it splits into two branches, the Arabian Sea branch and the Bay of Bengal branch. The withdrawal of the monsoon occurs gradually beginning in the northwestern states of early September. Complete withdrawal of the monsoon from the northern half of the peninsula occurs in mid-October. By early December, the monsoon is withdrawn from the whole country. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.